and a little bit flatter than he wants to receive the pass. Wow. Inside in the alley oop for Trey McGowan's and the Huskers lead. And you see the advantage of having a taller guard or it's drawn. Now watch, the hands are down. Banton at 6'8", able to look over the top, and a good job by McGowan of moving without the ball. And what you saw was the initial cutter by Thorpe Yarnison. Because he cut hard, Kevin, that cleared out the weak side. Stevenson jumped straight up and kept his arms perpendicular. Here's Teddy Allen back to work with the spin to the rim, and Teddy Allen's first two. Well, he shows no fear, wants to get to that right hand, utilizing the spin move very effectively. And right now, Nebraska of the Big Ten season. And the Huskers up by seven as we go back to work with McGowan's inside to Woodraogo. And McGowan's with his first Husker assist as Woodraogo with the flush. Watch Woodraogo doing a nice job of getting his feet set. Good delivery of the bounce pass coming under control, avoiding the charge. And again, that's a play a year ago. Woodraogo would not have been able to convert with such authority. Rosario, because Rosario's done a nice job of being a post presence, but he made a mistake, Kevin, by trying to dribble a loose ball. And Stevenson with a one-hand flush, and it's 27-15. Even though you got a nice three, don't dribble a loose ball, please. You know, for the good of, <laughs> of me, if nothing else, don't try to dribble a loose ball, and Shamil Stevenson knows what to do with it in transition. 29-18, Nebraska with 8.56 remaining. Stevenson with three points. Shot. And Thorby Arnerson with the steal. Huskers with numbers. Allen, the lob to McGowan's. And McGowan's able to throw it down. And that thing was not at the rim. It's at the line. Well, McGowan's, known as a lockdown defender at his time at Pitt, averaged just under two steals per ball game, but showing you some athleticism. That pass is off the rim, Kevin. It's not an eat. That was against Maryland Eastern Shore, so you know he was excited today. You know Trey McGowan's was excited. He has been a difference maker. Rudraogo running the floor with a two-hand flush. Four turnover. Not necessarily the pass you would want to make because that potentially could have been a turnover, but a nice job. You saw the Wolfpack miss both free throws. They're just 5 of 12 from the free throw line. Good pass to Stevenson. Shamil Stevenson with the reverse layup and the foul on Meeks. Spread the floor. This is what you didn't see in the first half, Larry. The spacing. Notice how they have Nevada spread out on the defensive end of the floor. Sherfield drives in. The big jump stop and pulled away by Webster on the turnover. Orby Arson right back to Banton who lays it in. Oh, what a dish from Orby Arson and Banton finishes it. Kick it ahead. And look, give it right back. And the defender has to turn his head. He thought Thor Bjarnason, especially since he's running the left side of the floor, watch him. He has to turn his head, and by then, it's all over. And that is a tough foul on the Wolfpack. It's the fourth on Cambridge. That's what Nebraska wants to do is get out in transition, and they'll do it here again. Look out, McGowan's got it. Two possessions, two live ball turnover, leads to a breakout opportunity. Then again, first he was the scorer. Here he's a distributor, and a nice job by McGowan to making the solid play rather than trying to make the spectacular play. Nebraska's energy defensively has been what we've seen through the first couple of contests. Shamil Stevenson trying to provide some of that energy, driving inside, count the bucket, and the foul. Shamil Stevenson. Off that much, and you talk about a locomotive coming at you in Shamil Stevenson. The, you, you can't. You're, that's making shots regardless of who you're playing. Stevenson in the open floor, driving to the rim, and Shamil Stevenson with the shift to the left hand to tie it at 6-6 to 20. Five on the shot clock. Teddy Allen going to work. The scoop and the foul. Teddy Allen, 10 standout, presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Can we give some love to the willingness to drive and get hit and fall. I know I know that seems kind of muscle his way up. His shot is blocked by Wright. Huskers have it with eight to shoot. Trey McGowan will score the first bucket of the game. Green light's not just to shoot. The green light is to attack, create, make a play. When you have five threats on the And a good job by McGowan's of maintaining verticality. Really good job defensively. Oh! Oh my goodness, Trey McGowan's exploding to the rim to bring the Huskers within two. Ten standout for Trey McGowan's.
but the Huskers find themselves down seven. This is a game where they are looking to sharpen things up, and they're not off to a good start right now. Here is Teddy Allen down low. Good, strong Teddy take by Allen. Allen. First three-pointer of the game for either team, and it comes for the Tigers inside again. Teddy There's Teddy Allen. Allen. Teddy Allen in transition is, is very hard to stop. If you get beat on the back door, you're usually going to come out. So most guys are going to foul you. Well, McGowan's hey! puts it down. Trey McGowan's knocks it down off the steel. Elbows might have been Oh, my God. Let's see. Rim. Let's see where he gets to. Oh! <laughs> Fall a little slow to get up, but Davidson, if he's one thing, he is very tough. And McGowan beats Reavers and draws the foul. Look at McGowan. Might have gotten away with one. Timeout, so good coaching from Hoiberg. And McGowan's with the steal. Took it away from Brooks. Oh, with a two-hand hammer. Oh, the elevation exploding to the rim. A moment ago, it's a Big Ten standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Kevin, okay, you see the athleticism. And he has great defensive potential in being disruptive, stealing the basketball. In that 2-3 zone, you can be a little bit more active and take some chances and gets some energy infused into Nebraska. State Indiana follows the conclusion of our game on the Big Ten Network. And Trey McGowan's with a great start for Nebraska on the offensive end. He buys a bucket and a foul. When a guy has a bass, watch how physical this is. Boom, jumps right in to Dwayne Washington Jr. Bucket here didn't do much. Boy, you watch the film and you yep. talk to Coach Izzo. He does a ton. McGowan, oh, the attack in the flush. And he landed kind of awkwardly. Question a Big Ten standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. And I'm not sure if our friends at Auto Owners Insurance can insure the rim off a vicious attack like this by Trey McGowan. Look at all the action on the weak side. You got everybody thinking about that with Teddy Allen. Oh. Drive strong basket by Durham. And a good job by Trace Jackson Davis of shielding off the hill. And the other end. Shamil Stevenson with the throw down and a timeout. And then it was Teddy Allen, and this is what forces Indiana to burn a timeout because you saw guys watch him. They're ball watching, they're jogging. They got all the way in. Does not finish. Durham with 10 here in the first half to extend. His streak to four consecutive games, and look at Teddy Allen with the spin-off glass. Good job by Walker of forcing Trace Jackson Davis to use that offhand. The take by McGowan's, and what a left hand by McGowan's. He draws the foul. And lacking here in this ball game for the Indiana Hoosiers. you got to stop the ball, and again, what you saw, you saw a couple of red jerseys jogging rather than sprinting to the paint and defending inside out, and McGowan's makes them pay in the situation a chance for an and one. Well, Euro stepped that time. Malik Hall played it well defensively. Some slappiness. Thorb Yarnason with the steal and take for two. It's the tougher shot by far of like the three that he's taken. Here's Nebraska on the push. A little step through move that time from Trey McGowan's who had a season high 20 against Michigan State in the last meeting. I think the Big Ten Conference uh, needs to get some kudos for the way that they're handling this situation. I think they're doing a great job. Phantom with the and one, I'm with you. Crossover and you get an advantage at 6'9". It doesn't take much for you to get all the way to the rim. Yeah, he needs to go to the beeline shooting camp right now. That's what I, I'd like to get a work, work with him a little bit. Close, but they get him anyhow. Oh, you know, with the stripe on it, it's the beeline. It goes around and we shot all our shooting with that. So it, uh, yeah, if we can market that too, Dave. Good foundation. And then, of course, he had a COVID issue at the beginning of the year as the Huskers put in to the rim. And the passing for Nebraska tonight has been outstanding. Nebraska here in Lincoln. They've set up the back door plenty of times. You can cut that cut off short, maybe get a jump shot. Walker at the elbow trying to go to work against Coburn. Off shot. And here's the window. It done early on both ends. But Walker did a nice job of establishing himself as a passer. That is extremely difficult. And he gets up, puts his shoulder right in there just enough to take away the length advantage employee. Gonna fall for him though, and the freshman's miss rebounded by Mayan. Good job by Stevenson of understanding he had the smaller player Cabello matched up on him. Really good job. When you go for a dunk like that and you don't get it, 
Well, if you go for a dunk like that, it's a lot higher percentage. <laughs> yeah. Banson. You know, great pass, nice easy finish. Derek Walker. Well, no better time to share the love than Valentine's Day. Against Wheeler, one of the best defensive guards in the conference. Shot clock at two. McGowan's on the balance, gets it to go. Tough runner. And uh, it, it, uh, this is, I, I would assume his brother and he will be doing a lot of these in the future. Nebraska is going to have a final shot to win this thing. They haven't scored in over eight minutes until that bucket by Teddy Allen. You try and keep your team aware of that all the time. You got to be pretty smart to think of that. Allen inside, ball tipped away. Driving to the rim, and Stevenson with a bucket and a foul. He'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. We go get straight line drive. You can't let a guy go right by you on a drive. That's what it was. The closeout wasn't great. We've seen this though, struggling shooting from these teams. Oh, and right through the contact of Wiggins, Stevenson strong gets the bucket and a chance to tie it at the line. It will read it. Wiggins falls asleep. Stevenson realizes that, and it's a straight line cut. I've talked a lot about straight lines with Stevenson. Straight line drives. There's an example. On the heels of their first back-to-back -back wins in conference play this year, looking to make it three straight while the Huskers are looking for their second win in three games. And a good start is Delano Banton. Hits the two, and he'll go to the line for one more. You have to continue to not do that, then they go out and step out of bounds. Here's an Ogo trying to spin baseline. Up in there, Stevenson. Oh, my goodness, with the hammer. On to Maryland. Uh, you've seen standouts. Big standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. That is incredible. I mean, just look how strong he is off of one foot coming right into your living room. With that, Allen left it for Mayan just as he meant to. Oh, nice reverse lay-in by Teddy Allen. He's got eight early on. Just how they drew it up. Teddy Allen returning the favor, knocking down a three of his own, and then a dribble drop amongst the conference leaders in turnover margin. You're seeing why. Nebraska and Penn State, two and three in turnovers in the league. Teddy Allen drives in. Allen, 18th double-figure game. Here's Delano Banton. A rough couple of games the last two for Banton, but a tough finish in the lane there. Arguably your best spot-up shooter, defender, and also a, a quality big in Robbins. There is Derek Walker, who we highlighted a bit ago. He gets the bucket and draws the foul. Nebraska really does a good job in their ball screen action, and they space the floor so well. Yeah, it's going to make for a possible sticky situation for Rosker. Figure that out later. Derek Walker rocking the rim. Minnesota has already hit three three-pointers. They were just four of 27 in the loss Thursday to Northwestern. Slipping to the rim. Nobody tracking Eduardo Andre. We talked about the injuries and the opportunity with Robbins out. He's taken advantage. He had a season high 32 minutes, nine points, and eight rebounds last game. And he's been good here. Speaking of good. Derek Walker, a one-hand throwdown, and then a flex after. Watch him catch the ball here on two feet, two hands. You can attack with impunity when he's on the bench. And on the way in, McConnell loses the basketball. Here come the Huskers, Banton off the bench. He gets to the rim. Is the bucket going to count? It is, and a foul. Watch the proper spin. That proper spin right there, boom, comes right up where Banton can catch it and go right to the rim. And if you're Andre, whoo. Over everybody else in the Big Ten, Kevin. I've told you that many times. Yeah, you are a fan of his dunking ability. Nice bounce pass, and it goes to Eduardo Andre for the two-hand flush. And everybody in the Big Ten is Boo Booey has a turnover. Dropping it off. What a flush. Left-hand jam, Andre. He runs the floor nicely, and uh, Ty Berry just stood there to admire it. <laughs> and it will be Webster, Thorbe Anderson, two times, yes, just before the horn to pull Nebraska within nine at intermission.